Welcome to Squid Shot. Last installment of this skateboarding series, we looked at entry-level pads and the difference between 187 killer pads and ProTech entry-level pads. And while entry-level pads are great for learning the basics and getting a couple of years of growth under your belt, when you reach that intermediate level and you really have control of what you're doing and you're pushing on your goals in a real way, upgrading your protection might be the right thing to do. 187 Killer Pads has options that aren't about aesthetics, but about functionality. Each type or level of pad have definite and specific changes for the functionality you might want. And that's really nice when you're going to be spending between $60 and $160 just for the knee pads. Let's look at some of these crazy options you might not have considered before. Let's start with the smaller gear, wrist guards. These are 187's version of regular wrist guards. It's got a splint on each side, and essentially, it's a normal wrist guard. But the Derby wrist guards, yes, roller skating gear has some real options for skaters. Starting with this slip-on wrist guard. It's got a wide, more flexible palm guard splint on one side and no splint on the back side. While this is definitely a sacrifice in protection, it gives the benefit of hand articulation and dexterity while still protecting a lot of the palm. It also is cut to expose a little more of the distal end of your hand, which, once again, gives the hand more articulation and freedom. At $5 more than a regular set of wrist guards, it might be worth taking a look. I think Willow Derby's in a really good place right now. Knee pads are the most diverse and complicated topic, so we'll look at them last. Elbow pads are next. After the regular elbow pad that comes with all of the multi-pack sets, there is the Slim, which has a shovel cap instead of a cup cap. And the shovel cap is actually sized for each fit. So the medium has a medium cap, small, small, and so on. And this keeps the profile smaller. Both the regular elbow pad and the Slim pad have the same one half inch foam. Just on the Slim, the one half inch foam is a bit narrower from side to side, and it keeps the profile smaller once again. The regulars are $40, Slims are $45, and the Pro is $50. Pros have 7 8 inch foam, set really wide with a large cap. Now, this is where things get interesting and where the biggest differential in price is. Fascinating. The regular knee pad that comes with all of the multi-pack sets is the Fly. And if you were gonna buy the Fly a la carte, it would cost $50. It's got 7 8 inch foam and a standard sized shovel cap. The Slim has the same 7 8 inch foam, once again, just a bit narrower. With the size matched cap, medium to medium, small to small, and so on, that costs 75. So there's a $25 difference between those two. The Pro Knee Pad is $110 and sports a one and a half inch thick foam and a large cap that is replaceable. All three, Fly, Slim, and the Pro, have a fixed shape to them and really don't bend easy. Pro, roller, derby, knee, pads. You don't see a difference? Well, you're wrong. <laughs> it's got one and a quarter inch foam, which is a quarter inch less than the Pro. It's a little thinner, so they could do this. Beneath this fabric, they've created a protruding V alcove for your shin to extend with less resistance. What? What? Mind blown. While the body of the Pro Derby knee pad has a fixed shape like all the others, the brilliant people at 187 created a hinged section at the quadricep, letting you straighten your leg even easier. Ah. Both the Pro and Derby knee pads have the replaceable cap system. Could there be anything better? Yes, yes, 187 said we can make your experience even more mind blowing. For $160, you can build yourself a custom set of Pro or Pro Derby knee pads. You choose the fabric for each panel. You choose whether it's Pro or Derby, your size, and bam, they will make your creation and send it to you. There's no refunds on custom pads, so be careful. 
Is your mind blown? It should be. What combination of pads would you get? Leave it in the comments below. Get some pads, learn to skate, give it a shot, a squid shot.